Welcome to my garage. Let's give you a tour. This is my model. Kelly Slater gave me that one. Or I took it from him. Wicked pissa. This is where it all happens. Welcome to Awesome on Ally. This week on Awesome on Ally, we have a great show for you. We're gonna start things off with the top five videos of the week. Yeah, and you don't know anything about Lance Mountain or f***ing Steve Cavallaro. I'm gonna wrap out about the completion of the contest season for snowboarding. Who was on top, who was on the bottom, and who was shining like a bright red star. All that and more coming up on Awesome on Ally. If you were to ask the best skateboarders on the planet, who is the gnarliest, most burly skateboarder of all time, I'm pretty sure that Danny Way's name would be at the top of that list. Just had his documentary, Waiting for Lightning, premiere in Austin, Texas at the South by Southwest Festival. Danny Way has been pushing both the progression of skateboarding and the progression of injuries to the limit since, oh, back in the mid 80s. I have a dream. There's a lot of guys that'll do whatever it takes to win. I still have a dream. Then there's guys that do whatever it takes to push themselves. I mean, I grew up in a, in a volatile household and my skateboard was my prescription. You know, that was my. That was my Prozac. A skateboard can be a vehicle for an, you know, an outlet for you know pressure happening at home or you know real life. I was able to to find my peer group that was kind of in a similar situation on skateboards, hanging out around town. Parents nowhere nowhere to be seen. It's kind of probably how gangs evolve, you know. But we weren't a, a malicious gang. We were just a skate crew. You've got exactly one minute to get completely out of my sight. You know, I'm no hero or no, no special person, I'm just like everybody else. There is a lot of things beyond skateboarding uh, that I think you know some of my fans can grab onto. It's time once again for the top five videos of the week here on Awesome on Alley. We're gonna start things off with number five. Well, you guys know that I like Audis. I'm a snowboarder by trade, so that means I love snow. When you combine Audis with ski resorts, driving up the slope, you get a grade A video. Check this out, it's from Finland. I guess in Finland you can just drive your car straight up the slope. Yeah, so I want a chair look like that. That looks insanely fun. Never mind, you don't have to wait in line with anybody, you just stay up the slope. Sweet. And the number four video this week. Wow, that's what I'm gonna say for this one. This guy learns fast. Sean White's winning the slope style at European X Games. Sean went, threw down, and won. Sean White takes two years off to focus on skating and the Olympics comes in here and just his determination and his willingness to devote himself and notice everything he does he executes it perfectly well. Zero falls, he knows how to milk every feature. And so far, a similar run. Let's look for the third feature to see if he can throw something big. Connection. Coming in. Just going nuts right now. His return to slope style is looking more and more solid. Sean White 
winning run, slope style, X Games, France. He is a phenomenon. And the number three video this week. This is a good one. To say that Eastbound and Down has been on a roll this year would be a major understatement. In the beginning, he brought it to you with the whole surf thing. God damn it. What the hell was that all about, man? You snaked my way. Sorry about that, mister. I didn't mean to cut you off. Oh, you didn't mean to snake me? How about this, huh? I didn't mean to do this. Kenny Powers does it again. Now, he's quoting skateboard lines. Your dick is all dumb and smashed in and played out on those roller skating shorts. And you don't know nothing about surfing. Yeah, and you don't know anything about Lance Mountain or fucking Steve Caballero. This is porno? No, these are goddamn skateboarders, bro. Well, let's just agree to agree. Learn the language, dog. <laughs> Maybe I will do that after I go and eat these waves and make them in my Yeah, well, hopefully when you go out there, you'll find your green card and surf on the fuck home. <laughs> and the number two video this week, Mini Malibu, finger surfing. Put your fingers to good use. Let your fingers do the talking. This is a crowded session. And the number one video this week. Drum roll, please. It is POV style. Terry Hawkinson. Let's get on board with him and see what it's like to go ride some powder at Bald Face Lodge during the Red Bull Supernatural. What is it like to be a legend? And when I mean off the hill, I mean airborne. So that was it, top five videos of the week. We end things off with Terry A. Hawkinson ripping some powder. Join us here each week and we will bring you the best videos on the web to kill time at work or at home. You are watching. Awesome okay, so we have reached the end of another competition series with professional snowboarding. What did we see this year? Well, we saw Louis Vito and iPod battling out in the half pipe. And it's gonna be Yuri Podlachikov getting the victory. All season long from the start of the Dewey Tour. Podlachikov needs a 98.01 and just comes up short. So it is Louis Vito walking away with the win and the Dew Cup for 2012. To the end there at European X, well, those guys were battling. And then, Sean White, the elephant in the room. Well, not really an elephant, but whatever. You know what I mean. Sean White only did a couple contests this year, and he came out swinging. I don't think that that necessarily surprises anybody. Oh, perfect 100. Oh. Sean White showed up and won here today. 98 on run number one to move into the top spot. But not without a little bit of drama. At the X Games, if you remember, Sean White opted out of slope style. He was hurt, arguably. And the reason I say that was because the next night he came back in and took the half pipe and didn't really seem to be limping around too much. In my personal opinion, I thought he kind of didn't want to get showed up in slope style. However, he just came back at the European X Games in Teens France and absolutely threw down. Return 
the slope style is looking more and more solid. He devastated the competition. I don't know how he gets in his pants, but he is a winning machine. And you know, in slope style side of things, it's a little bit different. You know, all season long, we saw a bunch of different guys bouncing from the top to the bottom. There's not one person really dominating slope style. Every other weekend, it's somebody else. But in the beginning of the season, I really thought it was gonna be Eric Willett's year. Eric kind of was plagued by some problems all year long. Chaz Guldemann was on a winning streak for a little while. And then Seb Toots was in there too. And recently it's Sean White, so who knows where it's gonna go when it heads into Sochi, Russia, when the whole qualifying process for the Olympics just truly begins. All in all, it's the end to an amazing season of progression in snowboarding. We saw the triple cork get thrown down absolutely perfectly by Torsten Horgmo. Half pipe, as always, Sean White, whenever he enters a contest, you are not going to beat him. Who will be the next phenomenon in 2012, 2013? I don't know. We have to wait and see. So that's it from us here on Awesome On Ally for this week. Remember, subscribe to this channel. Tune in every single week for more top five videos, more fun, more excitement. And hey, tell your friends about Awesome On Ally. Put up flyers all over town. I don't care. I set you down, damn, damn. Remember, you can email me at awesome at alliesports.com. That's A-W-S-M at alliesports.com. If you want to play the Find the Awesome logo, you can every single week in the first 60 seconds of every Awesome on Ally episode. Prizes galore. So join us again here next week. I'm out of here. Porno?